it's Taylor Janet. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with dorm hall part three. This is actually the final part of my dorm hall series. I've shown you guys pretty much everything. I have a few things that I already had like in my room and stuff like that. But you guys can see that when I do my move-in vlog slash my dorm tour. I just wanted to show you the last few things that I picked up for my dorm recently. Most of the stuff is from Target, but I also got things from Redbubble and Home Goods. This video is going to be really short. There's really not that much to show, but I still wanted to make a video because, you know, why not? So I got this from Home Goods. It's a personalized LED light box, and it's actually battery powered. So I might put this on my wall. I'm not sure. Either my wall or my desk. I think it'd be really cool to go on the wall, though. And this was $13. From Redbubble, I ordered all of these stickers online. And they're all really, really cute, and I'm planning on putting them on the outside of my laptop case. I did that senior year, but then my laptop case kind of got old, and I'm getting a new one. So I thought, why not get some new stickers for it while I'm at it? I'm not going to show you all of the stickers. Um, I don't think I'm going to show you guys all of the stickers, but I do want to show you guys this one. A pendant that's blue, and it says Spellman on it, and my friend Abby Busis made this for me, you guys. I really wanted a Spellman stickers because obviously I love repping my school, but I couldn't find any. She has a Redbubble page where she designed stickers and she graciously made this for me. I'm going to link her Redbubble page down below so you can check it out. And I definitely encourage you to buy stickers from her because they're so cute. Like, so cute. Especially if you're going to Emory or Spellman. If you're going to Emory or if you're going to Spellman, she has so many stickers for you because she made stickers for me. And I'm going to Spellman, and then she's going to Emory, so she has tons of stickers, so check them out. And yeah, those are my stickers. <laughs> Everything else I got from Target. It's hard to see over the glare, but it is a big metal dry erase calendar. It's white, and then it has a gold frame on it. And then um, everything on the calendar itself is written in gold, but like I said, that glare makes it a little bit tricky to see. I don't see a price on it, so I'll link everything that I can that's still in stock down below in the description box. And I'm planning on, you know, just hanging this up. I thought it was super, super cute, but I don't want to take anything out of the wrapping until I get to Spellman because I don't want scratches on it. Next thing I got was this dry erase board. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell because this glare is crazy, but yes. This is a marble dry erase board. It comes with a marker and a magnet, and this dry erase board is also magnetic. It's really, really light, so I don't think it's gonna be tricky at all to hang on my wall. Now, I mentioned that those two things are magnetic because I ended up getting little dry erase board accessories. This is just a little wire accessory cup, and you can hold like markers, erasers, all that in it, and it's gold, so my dry erase board will be marble with the gold cup on top, and it also comes with a gold eraser, and two more magnets that I thought were really cute. And I also picked up this little set of markers. They're magnetic, they have erasers on top, and they're thin, so they're gonna fit in the cup. And I thought these were cute, and I'm really excited to like write on my dry erase board. I love dry erase board writing. I don't know why, but I just love it. The last thing I got was this stapler. Again, the glare, I am so sorry you guys, but I just can't take it out. This is a marble stapler that I got from Target. It's super, super cute. It's marble and then it has gold accents on it. So I'm really excited that I was able to find so much marble to tie everything together. I think it's gonna look really, really nice. And that's it for my dorm haul. I did get some wall art and I'm gonna show you guys that, but I think I'm going to do later after I move in a dorm decor DIY sesh because I have a few DIYs that I'm going to do when I get there to complete everything. That's it for my dorm haul, part three of the final series. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm less than 20 subscribers away from reaching my goal of 200, so it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel. As always, comment what you want to see more from in my videos. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.